hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is sophia and uh, if this is your first time here welcome for returning subscribers thank you so much for tuning in again and giving me your time and your energy i really appreciate that um today's video <laughs> today's video is is inspired by so many videos i've seen on the internet um in celebration of world hijab day and i was inspired to make this video to just share my story for anyone who's interested um about my journey to modesty or to hijab so yeah let's dive in so i want to give a background first of where i started i did not always wear my hijab i started in 2020 when the pandemic hit this was very intentional and it came from years of me wanting to become modest and yeah 2020 was the year i finally decided on that very recent i would say this is my third year um i want to give a background of my family just so everyone can understand i i've i was born and raised muslim grew up muslim and in my family my i was raised by my aunt my mom my grandmother um i there was not really one person who wore well my grandmother actually wore her hijab like she was always veiled up um for the most part especially in public but i just want to say that my family was not the one where we're constantly wearing our hijab it was mainly for you know if we're going like for eid or on friday um my aunt eventually started wearing the hijab when she went for hajj but it wasn't something that we were told to do or it was mandated on us to constantly wear it no we were free to wear what we wanted so i'm so grateful for that i must say because um i think if i was forced to wear it then i probably would have taken it off eventually so i like that we were we, we, what was mainly emphasized like we we learned about our deen reading quran and mainly our morals like the working on the inside was extremely emphasized which i really think is important um I, I mean the outside is important too but the inside was also very important and yeah that that was really what was crucial in our house and um yeah but my love for hijab came in uh i would say in high school because in primary school which is what is middle school here i guess it i wasn't wearing my hijab at all but then the schools that we went to for high school they required hijab they were muslim schools so i would wear my hijab in school but when we leave school for holidays i would not wear it and i i liked that i enjoyed that because there were some people who were wearing it at home too so i like the fact that i didn't because you know i got to wear whatever i wanted i like that freedom and that went on up until college and even moving here because i moved here in 2013 and um but prior to that in like 2011 i think two years before the move here the the thought started to come of okay i really want to start wearing my hijab and it came from one of my friends who i had at the time that constantly wore it like she, it was a part of like you didn't see any of her hair i mean i did because i was a girl but you get it like for her her hijab was 24 7 and her family was like that too but I, I i admired it on her i thought she was so beautiful when she wore it and i just loved that so i always constantly told her that i would really want to wear my hijab too like you know when you have those ramadans when it really hits because i would wear it for ramadan and then when ramadan ends i go back to whatever so this one ramadan it really hit me that oh my god i really want to wear this 24 7 and i was telling her and she was like yeah but it takes like it it, it takes 
like take your time basically is what she was trying to say take your time don't rush this okay this is not this is a lifelong journey you don't stop when you start at least that's what she want she wanted for me and at the time i was like man yeah i'm gonna have to change all my clothes i don't have the money to buy all the clothes to switch fully to modesty i did have some excuses you know i'm calling them excuses because when i decided to wear it i didn't care about how much money i had to spend to buy new clothes in fact i realized i didn't even need new clothes i just had to um switch up how i coordinated my outfits you know but okay you do need some clothes but you know what i mean um at the time i think she sensed that i was not ready and she was just like take your time take your time and yeah i i did take my time so when i moved here of course i wasn't wearing it in 2013 um but i still had that deep desire to wear it it's, it was just something lingering in my heart and i i constantly said it to my friends and family that eventually I will wear it and I think that's the way to manifest like if you're someone who is thinking about switching to modesty like you've always wanted it just keep asking God to get you to that path you know it's not always a one day decision just keep asking him and he will make it easy for you eventually so I think that's because it was the bottom of my heart and me telling everyone that I really want to wear it eventually God is that path for me and uh moving here i go to college um i love the college that we went to because it was very diverse a lot of muslims there um a lot of people who wore hijab um it was just a mixed like every every person was there like white people asians like black people it was just a mix of everyone i love that college and um i had friends who were the hijab i think it was another way of god like god was showing me that okay <laughs> here's that thing that you once wanted and one of my very close friends wore it in fact actually another friend of mine who we worked with in pharmacy also wore it and i think she's another person who inspired me to now really really want it because she was just so beautiful when she wore it and she had worn it her entire life so i was always asking her how do you feel when you wear it and um she loved it you know and of course the, you know when you go to high school here and you're wearing it, it it's not easy you know and she told me about that experience but honestly she loved it and how she talked about it and all all the benefits of it honestly even just how customers were speaking to her was just so different like the respect that she got i could see it and i was i was always telling her i really want to wear the hijab like you inspire me and she always told me the same thing that take your time that this is a different experience once you start wearing it it's gonna be different and i did listen to that and i was like you know what i'm not ready in this moment like <laughs> um still out here doing a lot of things so i i don't think i was ready at the time but that thing in my soul was there that i want this so bad <laughs> and yeah when she was telling me about the benefits of wearing it she mentioned she talked about so many different things and things that i was struggling with like praying on time um you know at school at the school we went to george mason let me just say they had spaces for muslims to pray and we had clothes that you could use to pray so when you when when i always went there and put on cloth the, the cloth and pray and take it off this is the way i felt like i just felt like i just want to have my clothes already on me you know and yeah but i like that you know we had that option that we had a place to pray like thank you to that university like you really thought of us and yeah that's something to mention because the environment that oh wait my sister is gonna open the door so one second okay so what was i saying i think i was talking about 
I was talking about Mason and how we had prayer spaces. I think that was really important in also reminding me that this is something I really needed because you know when you don't have the proper attire you end up missing your pair missing your prayer or praying late and those are all excuses i wanted to be done with and i knew that this would definitely help me but um yeah i think that was worth mentioning that um school played a big role in that too and having another friend that i also had that I was telling about wanting to, to to switch to hijab. I think telling people is important about the things that you want, not just hijab, but just anything that you want. Cause the more you tell them is the more you're bringing it to life. And sometimes people even pray for you to get to that thing that you want. So whatever you want, share it with the people that you care about. That way they can give you that energy and yeah help you to get to that goal so um i was truly inspired by my friends and um also my mom went for hajj and she started wearing it so um but i'll say like my friends really played a big role because i just they just looked so beautiful to me and um having my hair out and everything i did feel beautiful but I don't know it's different when I'm like this so um yeah I really really enjoy this I really do and it's crazy at this time where you would think that it's something that because when when I was telling some of my friends about it they kind of thought that maybe I was being talked into it or forced into it but it was actually a decision that I came up with that I wanted for myself and um, in fact, some people even thought that eventually I would take it off, but um, maybe I even thought that too on a tiny level because I didn't know, I, I thought it was going to be so challenging when I took, when, when I started wearing it and, you know, it wasn't, it really wasn't that challenging <laughs> like I thought and that goes to show how God will ease the way. If you're doing something to please him um he really will ease the way so if you're someone who's considering it it's not going to be as hard as you think like your mind makes up so many scenarios of things that are not even going to happen like it goes to the worst case scenario and i promise you the worst case scenario is not even gonna come so um yeah i just wanted to share that background of how i was even inspired I, I think i was also inspired by um people in the media like aisha haroon shahad batal there's so many muslim women i saw and just saw their beauty radiate and they were dressing modestly so i was like oh this is happening very soon <laughs> i knew it was going to happen um especially when i started seeing different styles and different ways i could wear my clothes um and this is a journey you know because sometimes people have a lot of things to say on how you're wearing it because sometimes i do i wear it a turban style and some people will be oh this is showing your hair is showing your neck is showing but i think it's a journey for people to get to that space where they're fully covered up and uh, you know we should all be allowed that grace because the truth of the matter is this is between me and my creator. It's not about anybody else. And and for the people who've been criticized about, you know, showing their neck or whatever, people eventually take it off. And, you know, it's important to think about your criticisms because you could discourage someone and you don't want to do that. Um, there's always ways to say things or <laughs> even not to say something, you know, to mind your business something we've forgotten to do these days but um i think it was important to talk about my background to tell anyone who thinks that it can't be done because to wake up and decide that <laughs> i am such my dress code like 
y'all were seeing my hair, you were seeing all this and all that, and now you're not gonna see it anymore. It's not a joke, especially in this America, you know? And that's exactly what I did. I think that's when, that's the point where I realized that I don't even care what people say or any opinions of anyone about me. <laughs> I, I realized that in that time because um, I decided in 2019, because that's when I graduated from college and that was in December. So during that time of graduation, I was talking to one of my friends that I'm going to start next year. And she was like, really? Wow. I hope, you know, God makes it easy for you because she was wearing it already. But she had also done the same thing. In fact, she was also another person who inspired me because she told me that, yeah, me too. I was just like what you wanted to do. Like I was showing my hair like I and for her, she deleted all her social media like she had thousands of followers and she deleted everything and just switched it up. So I was like, oh, I don't know I'm going to do all that at the same time. But I was like, yeah, it can be done. Like you can literally um, transform yourself, which is exactly what I did. So in 2019, um, in my last year of college, the thought was there. So during that time, I explored everything. And like I said, I wore whatever I wanted before this. I wore whatever I wanted like I was not restricted so I I went all out honestly if I'm being honest I in fact even on my graduation I showed my hair like I wore my afro because typically um maybe I would have done something else or get my hair done like I don't know look a certain way but I wore my afro and celebrated it because I knew that was the last day it was ever going to be seen like that on the outside um like that you know so i love looking at those pictures because they represent a, 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 a death of a version of myself you know but yeah after graduation in december in fact i went to uganda and i was telling everyone that when i go back to the states in in february i'm gonna be dressed mo modestly like i'm gonna be dressed modestly and they were like really <laughs> yeah i was like yeah i don't even plan on going back to my old job because i had a job pending when i come back i was like i'm gonna get a new job i'm gonna get new everything because i don't want to go back to my old job because the patients knew us they knew me and they i know they were gonna ask like what's the change why are you dressed like this in a like people constantly complimented complimented me about my hair so um i felt like they would ask and i didn't want to answer to anyone you know i, I get it sometimes people just want to know but i didn't want to be even in that position i wanted kind of a clean slate and new start so i said that that's what i'm gonna do i was like when i go back i'm gonna get a new job and in those jobs i'm gonna show up as a hijabi and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> um, yeah, when I was leaving Uganda, honestly, because uh, during that time in Uganda, I dressed how I wanted because I knew that I was going to start something new when I came back. So I wore all those dresses that I had, you know, kept, you know, for special things or whatever. Like I wore all the things that were not worn as the last time, kind of like a goodbye and yeah when i came fresh start so I, I did feel uncomfortable a little bit like okay i feel like a fraud <laughs> in those first few days but then later honestly like i started feeling more confident and i was looking for jobs like crazy because i came back in february 2020 in fact as soon as i just landed like maybe two, one to two days later they were like everything is shut down because of the pandemic everything is shut down every single thing so doubt starts to come in that damn am i even gonna be am, am i gonna be able to get a job during this time you know like this like i'm a whole new different person like maybe i should wait to fully dress like this because jobs are already scarce like people are being laid off you know there's some doubt that started to seep in but I was also very determined on what I wanted. Like there were two, two thoughts going in. Like I was really wanted 
to really start so i was like nah let me write down what i want i wrote down i want a job that's gonna accept me in this new modest self a place where i'm gonna pray i'm gonna have the freedom to pray freedom to be myself and god gave me that in the pandemic at the beginning of a pandemic i got the job that i could pray i could wear what i want i was not judge at all in fact most of my colleagues were Muslim at that place. So it was including my boss. Um, and it's like God made a way for me. And I had all these doubts, you know. But, you know, I'm also in healthcare, So I guess there was no reason for me to worry about a job. Because during that time, we were, we were actually needed. So, um, yeah, God made it so easy for me. So... Don't worry about that. He's going to make it easy. Okay. People are not even going to judge you. Nobody's even going to care like you think they will. Because I thought some people would care. People don't even care. They don't. Um, yeah. People don't really care. But um, what changed when I started dressing this way? I want to talk about that. Like my peace of mind. I have a different peace of mind that I've never experienced ever in my life. I don't worry about things. I just, that's just, I don't care about anyone's opinion of me. Like I, oh, oh my God. The peace of mind of not having to deal with the male gaze or just catcalling or attracting a certain kind of people because the truth of the matter is how you dress att attracts a certain kind of people that's just how it is so i will say that if you're kind of person who kind of likes attention then maybe you want to do some inner work before you start dressing this way because the attention goes down like prior to this like you have all kinds of men flocking and now yeah crickets yeah it's more of crickets like most people you're not really um like the people who come to you are a different kind of people i will say they're first of all very respectful the way they talk to you like they talk to you with so much respect and i never had that before um i i felt like i always had a lot to say but most people who approached me approached me for vain reasons or you know they never really get to see your inside if if that makes sense <laughs> um yeah they it, it's a very shallow thing so now I, I feel like i get more into deeper conversations and deeper connections because of this dress code um because people are not so distracted by my beauty or all these attractions that i have <laughs> I, that's, uh, I phrase that in a very interesting way but you get what I'm saying um, so I really like that but I will emphasize that if you want if you're the kind of person who seeks that male validation there's not a lot of that okay when you start dressing this way it's, you get it but it's different it's very different You actually you're, appro you're approached more for serious things like marriage like is, is is serious out here and that's not a bad thing actually so i just want to say that because i think um it was something that really really changed and i love that for me i really really love that like i i want to i want someone who approaches me intentionally not because they're seeing you know something looking nice and everybody <sighs> you know what i mean but um yeah what else changed i i feel more beautiful i feel more beautiful dressed modestly than i did then it is funny but it is so true i just feel a different kind of beauty that i never even thought existed and the confidence oh my god my confidence went up up after becoming a modest girl i found my sense of style more i always wore black grays 
um, oversized clothes and I feel like now I have a more sense of style compared to then and I wear a lot of color and I I really like that yeah um, everything else aligned in my life I want to talk about that like how the overflow of blessings came I don't know I, I don't want to say it's a coincidence that you know I started dressing this way and somehow things just open up like the doors just opened up God just and this is something I didn't assume. I actually thought the opposite. I thought that I was going to face a lot of hardship or judgment or um, misjudgment. I don't know, but I did not get that. And maybe it's because of the areas that I've been, um, like I go to, they're kind of diverse. But um, people are just still not nasty to me like I thought they would be. I don't know why I assumed that, to be honest. Like the mind really goes too far, but yeah. Okay, you know, when I went to Florida, the, the people stare, they, they, they stare. They're like, I don't know, it's not staring of like laughing, but they just, you, people stare a lot. And I never got that prior to dressing this way. So I think it has something to do with this, but I sat on this plane and this man was just looking at me like this. He was sitting on the side, like in, it was an aisle seat. He was in the aisle, aisle. And he just looked at the entire time. I was sleeping, waking up, and this man was just staring. And it was weird a bit, a little bit. But I was like, maybe it's my beauty. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the, that's, that's what's distracting him. But he stared a lot. And I, I got a lot of stares too at the airport. Um, but the part of Florida I was in is, it has a lot of white people, so I get it. They're not used to this, so, yeah. And also people stare one, two seconds and they're going about their business. No one is really going to step up to you to say something, so. I mean, I'm like, yeah, you can stare. I'm a piece of art. I get it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think those are the things that really changed and that I really enjoy. I honestly wish that I started sooner before 2020, but I'm also okay with God's timing. I think I wasn't ready then when I thought I was. Um, yeah, I found myself wearing hijab and being more modest. Um, I've explored with so many different styles of modesty, turban style, and um, you know, even just like this, but I think I love this more like the fully hijab look and i want to dress more this way yeah i just like i said i just feel so pretty like this so beautiful it's not even just about the outside but even inside i'm like mm. anyway um i think that's it that's it thank you so much for listening actually before i wrap it up i just want to say to anyone who wants to start or who's thinking about taking it off because I, I know a few people who've taken it off because there's some pressures here, you know? But just keep asking the good Lord to give you that courage to do it because it does take some kind of courage when you're living in America dressed this way. Um, tell him to ask him to give you ease because he will give it to you. He gave it to me. He's given it to so many people who started this journey. But if it's something you deeply want, keep talking to him. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Eventually, he will make a way. And yeah, you will find your way. If you've taken it off, it's okay. Um, the work lies inside. If it, oh, I think that's what matters. If you're a good person and you know we're truly judged by our character and our intentions so only god knows your intention and the outside is just noise you know yeah i pray that god makes it easy for you like he did for me yeah and thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful in any kind of way <laughs> 
yes and um i will be seeing you in my next video i hope you have a great day a great evening a great night a great afternoon a great everything whenever you're watching this until next time deuces <laughs>